The Louisiana state lawmakers have decided to reject a bill that would raise the state's minimum wage. At the same time though, in fact, the day before that, the Louisiana state legislature decided to move forward with a bill that would raise their own pay by more than double. Now this story has some interesting details. The lawmakers in Louisiana are not paid handsomely like our federal lawmakers. In fact, they're paid very little. But that should give them some perspective on what it's like to try to survive on very little pay. Now, Louisiana has no state minimum wage, meaning that whatever the federal minimum wage is, that is what is enacted in the state of Louisiana. So that's why Louisiana, a Democrat in the state legislature in Louisiana introduced a bill in the state's house specifically to raise the state's minimum wage to $10 an hour. Which seems reasonable. Now, the minimum wage would then rise over the next few years to reach $14 an hour by 2028. That was the proposal. Now, minimum wage increases are, generally speaking, extremely popular in both red and blue states. If you can recall, Florida, which is a solid red state at this point, voted through a ballot initiative to increase their state's minimum wage. A 2019 study by LSU's Public Policy Research Lab found that 81% of Louisianans support a state minimum wage hike. That of course would be more than $7.25. And according to the US Census Bureau data, from 2019, Louisiana's poverty rate is 19%. So poverty is a big problem. Obviously, people deserve to get paid more and it would create a better economic situation. But the bill was opposed by Republicans who parroted the usual talking points. So one one of them said this, I don't see that a bill to raise the state's minimum wage solves those problems, especially not solving it as the free market can. Now the free market's been working its magic in Louisiana and 19% of the population there is living in poverty. Is that the wonderful free market that's being referred to here? Yeah, so a couple of things here. First, Louisiana and Mississippi are the two poorest states. So as Anna pointed out, how's that free market working out for you? No, it's just an excuse they use to make sure you get none of the money and the people at the top get all the money. So. Now, when you talk about the Louisiana state legislators, they should definitely be paid more because I'm worried. <clears throat> and, and, and I think they're crooks, by the way, and I'm worried about them. And I think that they're bought off by business interests. So why in the world am I saying they should get paid more? Because if you get paid really low salary, you're gonna want to bribe. Yeah. And you're gonna want to do other jobs and people are gonna give you other jobs, knowing that you can pass state laws that'll make them millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars. It's an open invitation to corruption. So I'm not, in this case, I'm not against the legislators making more money. But you can't say, hey, I'd like to make more money. But the citizens that I'm supposed to represent, oh hell no, 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 they shouldn't get more money. And it's not like Louisiana's like like a rich state or anything like that. And meaning in terms of their workers, no, they're at the bottom. They are so you can't make an argument that the wages are too high in Louisiana. It's absurd, and they're saying, "Oh, don't worry about it." I mean, it's seven dollars and twenty-five cents because of the federal law, but uh, but most people don't get that, really, because it seems like in your state they get the worst salaries, along with Mississippi. So this is all an effort to make sure that they keep the costs of their business benefactors low. Yes, because those are the people who bribe them. So let's talk a little bit about how much lawmakers in the state of Louisiana make for their salaries and how much they increase their salaries after or actually right before they decided to kill a bill that would increase the minimum wage in the state. So let's go to graphic four here. The House and Government Governmental Affairs Committee voted to advance House Bill 149 by Representative Joe Marino to the House Appropriations Committee. The bill would increase the lawmakers' wages from $16,800 to $40,000. The bill would go into effect next term. So just to do the math real quick, if the salary is $16,800, that means that they're making around $1,400 a month. So you're right, I mean, that's not enough money. But I have no problem with them getting paid more for the reasons that you correctly outlined, Cenk. But when you yourself have experienced how difficult it is to survive on low pay, how do you then turn around and tell minimum wage workers to kick rocks? And look, you tell them that, easily tell them that. 
because what's on the top of mind for them is who their donors are. 100%. Look, if you didn't have corruption, those folks would be much more predisposed to helping people that are in a similar economic situation. Now, a lot of these folks have second jobs, so it's not like they're trying to live off of that amount of money, but some of them might not, okay? And there's also a racial component, unfortunately, in Louisiana. Because there's a perception that if you increase the minimum wage, it's mainly gonna go to the black citizens. And so a lot of folks don't want that. So they say, no, I don't want it. Even if in reality, it majority of the, it goes to the white citizens, there's that perception. And unfortunately, it's a, uh, it's a double whammy because they use it to keep your wages low and to keep you happy about how your wages are low. Jesus. So it's, it's really, uh, it's horrible in every way. Now, at the national level, it's an open disaster. And that is why you have a place like Louisiana uh, that is a symptom of the, the disaster that they, we started at the federal level. The minimum wage has not been raised since 2008. Uh, Obama did not raise it at all when he was in charge. Uh, Biden actively killed his theoretically his own proposal at $15 minimum wage that was in the COVID relief bill. He had the two Delaware senators vote against it. He was, he, as soon as he got into office, he said, we're not doing that. So he never meant it. He's not in favor of a higher minimum wage. Democrats are liars. When we have find a politician that's honest, that's breaking news. So here, I'll tell you that in this case, Bernie Sanders is going to introduce a bill to for $17 minimum wage. Now for the Corporatists, they'll say, "Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You were just saying fifteen dollars a minute ago, and now it's seventeen dollars." Yeah, because the last time they proposed it was two years ago, and now with inflation, that fifteen dollars yeah, exactly. is seventeen dollars. Exactly. Right? Wait, wait, hold on. Is this a scoop? Did we just scoop? No, no. It's. It, I actually did know that ahead of time, oh, but I waited, okay. and it, it, it's it is been in reported. the news today. Okay, and so the seventeen dollars is a great proposal. Thank you, Bernie, for bringing that back. Now, look. Here's how it'll play out, and here's how it should play out. Just real quick. Uh, Bernie will propose it. Uh, I don't know if Schumer will even allow a vote on it uh, because he doesn't believe in it. He hates it. He loves business interests. And if they did allow a vote on it, he, it probably wouldn't pass the Senate because there's eight corrupt Democrats that already vo voted against the higher minimum wage. They uh, agree with their Republican uh, colleagues. So then you'd go to the House, even if it's somehow miraculously passed in the Senate, and the Republicans control the House, they'd kill it because the Republicans hate the idea of higher wages for an average American. But if it made it to Biden, I'm not even sure that he would sign it because these guys are all crooks. They all take money from all of the companies like the Restaurant Association, etc., that are most directly affected by a higher minimum wage. But if you turn on television, they'll tell you, oh, they're just honorable people going back and forth. So what could Bernie do? He could introduce the bill and then say, if Schumer doesn't allow a vote on it, he's corrupt. That would make giant national news because the media loves drama. They do, they do love drama. And I mean, I, I always think back to when AOC called out Joe Manchin's corruption. And like clockwork, Joe Manchin goes on CNN and Dana Bash asks about the corruption. It's That's, so easy. Yeah. You just have to have to have the courage to call out your colleagues, your beloved colleagues. And then when you put, after you put Schumer under the pressure, if it goes to Biden, you say, well, Biden said he was for the higher minimum wage. Was he telling the truth or was my friend President Biden lying? Drama, 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 drama puts a giant spotlight on Biden. Mm -hmm. Did you mean it? Or were you lying? But I love Bernie, he's the only one putting this forward. I appreciate it, but he will not do those tactics because it would be impolite. There just, there needs to be some strategy among progressive lawmakers. They actually have to work together and organize something and have a well orchestrated plan to apply the appropriate amount of pressure to get these types of policies passed. You have to actually be a tactician. Right, and I could tell you this too. From behind the scenes, there's a number of progressives that have a plan to get anything passed in the next two years. Zero. It's not that they had a chance of passing it as zero. It's that they don't even have a plan to pass it, and that's disheartening to say the least. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.